I haven't done this in a really long time. <laughs> Hello, this is Megan of Megan is Reading. Uh, and I'm going to make another video. Yay. So actually one of my, my goals for 2018 is to post a video a week. My hope is I'm going to post more. What are you laughing at? My hope. My hope. My hope. Michaela's over here while I'm, uh, while I'm filming. She's going to be our, if I say something funny, she's going to be the, the audience that claps. So. Sorry. Or says A when I say something cool. Or smart. Or laugh at me when I say something stupid. You know. You're going to get like interactive experience. <laughs> because she's right there. Anyways. Um, today's video is going to be about our 2018 reading challenge, which I haven't told Michaela about, but I'm inviting you guys to do it with us. But I'm also going to like vlog and post how I'm doing about it. But I want to tell you a little bit about it and tell you about some of the books that I'm going to re be reading for it because I'm really excited. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a good one. I'm really excited actually. We're reading what was it? 48 books? 46 books. Uh, and a few of the categories are the next book in a series you've started, a book set in a country that fascinates you, a book by an author of a dif different ethnicity than you, a book about mental health, a book about or involving a sport, which I'm in setting to include games because there's a book I really want to read and that's the only category it would fit into. Book recommended by someone else taking this challenge. And those are the only two so far that I have that are 100% set in stone. And those are Bill the Vampire by someone and Dark Lover by someone. Now, J.R. Ward. Ward. Thank you. I'm doing this with Michaela, the person that you saw, and Uli, who's going to be making an appearance on my channel at some point. But I don't know when that will be. Someday. So, in no particular order, and I'm not going to be saying what categories these go into because I can't remember that much. <sighs> Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Ah. <coughs> Six of Crows, also by Lee Bardugo. A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. I'm really excited about this one. This is going in my LGBT one. Because it's about an LGBT princess or queen or something. The Lost Girls. Pretty sure this is a true story, so this is going to be going... Going about the one that's uh, based on a true person. It. I don't remember what it's for. Juliet Takes a Breath? Also don't remember what it's for. Wild. The book that makes me smile. Though it also makes me sad. So it makes me feel all of the emotions. The Sun is also a star. The book that I was supposed to get to last year and never did. This was a book that was given to me by someone. And I don't remember what category it fits into. Care of All by Stephanie Garber. This is the one that I'm trying to make fit into the one about a sport. <laughs> And it doesn't fit very well, but it's gonna work. <laughs> Bloodline. This book is ugly as fuck. Passion. Lauren Kate. Good book. I think this is the third one. I'm also reading the second one. And the fourth. And the fifth one. Blowback 07 by Brian Mehal. Me Mill. Mall. Mill. 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 Ooh! Torment. This is in the list. <laughs> to read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I have the Slytherin edition because that person gave it to me. I'm gonna read Frost Like Night. This one fits into a category that I also don't remember. Just like most of those before it. Eyes Like Fire. This one doesn't fit into a category, but it's the middle book. This one does fit into a category. This is Snow Like Ashes. And in order to read the other book to the series or trilogy that goes that fits into the categories, I have to read this one too. Bummer. It's not all of them, but I have to order the rest of them, which means I'm going to be doing a book haul, and I'm excited. That, that was really excited for you, and I hate it. <sighs> she doesn't like when I'm happy and excited. It makes her feel weird. No. I think it makes me feel the same way as when you act like I do. <laughs> oh, what the heck's happening? I honestly don't know what else to say about this. I'm really excited. Um, you should definitely like this video if you liked it and you should comment if you want to join us or I don't know think that what we're doing is really stupid because sure also you should check out Michaela's channel she's probably going to talk about this at some point in a vlog or something also you should check out her Hawaii videos 
They're like almost a year old, but Hawaii is pretty cool, and I've been watching them. <laughs> I've like rewatched all of her videos a bunch lately. Because <sighs> I missed vlogging. Also, newsflash, I'm going to start vlogging again. Cool. If you want to see more stuff like this, you should definitely uh, subscribe and turn on the little notification bell if you want to hear about it. Hear about it. Hear when I post a new video. That one. Um, yeah, so I don't even know what to say at this point. How do I wrap this up? It's been a really long time since I filmed and this is weird. But I hope that you all have a really great day and yeah. I will see you next time. Bye.